Hi everyone, it's Travis here with Pronam Marine, and today we're going to do a short video to explain to you some of the new changes in a firmware update for the Pronam Motion handheld remote control. We've got a new firmware available for the Pronam Motion Controller as of early November 2019. We wanted to give you a quick overview of the update process for that remote, how to update that firmware, and explain some of the big changes that are coming so that you're aware of the improvements that you can expect. The biggest changes here with the new firmware for the motion controller are that we've added a deep sleep mode so that you actually have the ability to turn the controller off and it will go into a very low power state so that that battery life is extended from the one or two days that you've been experiencing with the current firmware uh, to greater than a month when you're not using the remote. Um, you're still going to get one to two days of continuous use out of the remote, but that's extended by this deep sleep mode, which basically powers the remote off when you're not using it, either automatically or through a button press that you can do, and you're going to be able to continue to use that remote for several fishing trips without having to worry about keeping it charged on that charger uh, every night between trips. So we're releasing this update at the end of the 2019 season and this is an optional update so you can continue to use the remote as is with the prior firmware. You're not going to have any loss of performance if you don't upgrade right away. However, this is a very important update and we strongly recommend that you take care of this one right away as soon as you can so that you get the best firmware available on that remote and this is especially a time sensitive here heading into winter. A lot of you guys won't be fishing uh, for the next several months. So this deep sleep mode will actually allow you to charge that remote up, take it off the charger, and as that remote is sitting in storage, um, it's, it's going to be better for that battery long term to have this new firmware as that battery will maintain a charge as opposed to be fully discharged over those several months of long term storage. One of the other nice things now with this firmware update is we've added some better LED light indications. So we've got the red and blue lights up top on this remote and we've changed the flashes on those to better indicate um, the Bluetooth status. So as your remote is pairing with the GPS unit or it is connected and paired, we've changed that blue light status to indicate that a little bit better. So a solid blue light will always be on when you're connected or a flashing blue light when you're pairing as well as any button on the remote when you press it will have a single red flash to indicate that that button has been pressed. One final change is that we've added a double button press sequence with the mark button and the rabbit button up on the tops of the remote. If you hold both of those buttons simultaneously with the new firmware, it will shut that remote off or that remote will automatically shut off after a period of time. Um, in addition, with the prior firmware, that FN key on the bottom right of the remote was sort of functioning like a reset for the remote. In the process of doing this firmware update, we're still going to use that FN key, but after this new firmware is loaded into the remote, that FN key really isn't going to serve that type of reset function. You're just going to use the Bluetooth button to pair this up with your GPS or these buttons up top to shut the remote off. In the future, we're going to use that FN key as sort of a multi-function button. So if I hold that FN key and another button, it might do a certain type of mode or command that uh, does not currently exist on the remote. So to give you a quick idea of what to expect for this firmware update, all we're going to need to complete this update is a fully charged remote. We're going to need your mobile device with the latest mobile app off of the Android or Google Play Store or iOS App Store. So we're going to go out and look for those new apps, uh, verify that you're running the latest and greatest version. By the time you're seeing this video, those new apps are out there, so just go do that app update if your phone isn't automatically updating the app. Alright, so to begin the firmware update, I'm going to open up the ProNav app. And the way that you know you've got the latest app is looking at the Terms and Conditions Agreement that pops up the first time you open it. As long as you have 3.3.5 on iOS or later, or 3.3.11 on Android or later, you're going to have this new remote firmware in that app. The last number in that sequence will increment as we release minor updates. So I'm going to hit Accept to that user agreement. You can see underneath what's new, it does say New Remote Firmware Increasing Battery Life. So that's another indication that we've got the latest app here. I'll accept that user agreement and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the main menu in the app and I'm going to look for firmware upgrade. So now we've got a list of options here to upgrade the remote, 
the ProNav Hub or the ProNav GPS unit. At this time, we are not releasing any new firmware for the Hub or the GPS unit. So you're strictly going to look for ProNav Remote. And before I begin the remote update process, I've got my remote fully charged, but I'm also going to plug this into the charge cord that we provided to you. So I'm going to plug in the remote to the USB-C. I've got the red light here indicating that things are charging. So to begin this update with the existing firmware on your remote, we're going to use that FN key to reset the remote. So I'm going to press and hold FN on the bottom right for about five seconds. And I can see that blue light flash there uh, intermittently. So that FN key for five seconds basically did a reset on this remote. And now I'm going to press and hold the Bluetooth key for again about five seconds. And that's going to turn this remote back on um, so that we can connect to it from the app. So I'm not really seeing any sort of indications on the lights here. I just pressed and held on that Bluetooth key that's in the bottom left of the remote for about five seconds. So now that I've turned this remote into its on or pairing state, that's what the Bluetooth key is, is it puts it into a pairing state. I'm going to come into the app and I'm going to select ProNav Remote at the top. And as you can see here, I've got ProNav Central and ProNav Remote. So ProNav Central is the GPS unit that's on my boat here beside us. That might also read ProNav Hub depending on your serial number. I'm going to select ProNav Remote to do the remote firmware update. Now at this step, if you do not see ProNav Remote listed here in your device list, you can see the green text says scanning finish, click to rescan. I can simply do a rescan and it will try again to locate the Bluetooth signal from your remote. So I'll just do that quick. And you can see again it found it. Now if for some reason your re remote is not showing up in this list of devices to connect to, we're going to repeat that process where we held the FN key for 5 seconds and then held the Bluetooth key for 5 seconds to make sure that remote is on and advertising its Bluetooth signal. Because I can see ProNav Remote here in the list, I'm going to select that. And now on an Android device, it's relatively unapparent that anything is happening. But if I look in the top tray here, I've got a notification that says uh, basically ProNav Angler and it's uploading the new firmware onto this remote. So it's very important to keep your remote on the charger. Don't touch any buttons um, and don't, uh, don't swipe or close that notification. It will automatically clear itself out of the tray here once that update is complete. Now, for those of you who are using an iOS device, an iPhone or an iPad for example, um, there will actually be a slightly different message that comes up on the screen that shows you and indicates that that firmware is updating on the remote. So, Note there is a slight difference on the firmware updater um, where that message is sent between Android and iOS. So once that notification has been cleared out on the Android device by itself, that means the update has been completed. Um, similarly on iOS, it's going to tell you that firmware update is complete. You can clear that message and now I can return to the main home screen of the app. So with that new firmware on the remote, there are just a few key differences in the button presses and the functionality. And we do have a couple of other videos here as part of this series that are uh, available on YouTube and in our tutorials section that explain how this new firmware uh, operates with respect to all the buttons and pairing this remote to your GPS unit. Um, so just be aware there's a network configuration, which you may have already done with this remote, where you configure this remote to your ProNav GPS, and there is also a video overview explaining just the general operation of this remote with the new firmware. So I'm just going to do a quick test now that I've updated the firmware on this remote to make sure that everything is working properly. So to begin, I'm going to remove the charge cord here. And you should see that that red light uh, goes out here when we remove the cable. So that red light up top is on when your remote is charging. It will go out when your remote has fully charged um, or when you unplug the cord. So now if I press any button on this remote, um, aside from your Bluetooth or FN keys, you can see nothing's happening. I'm not getting any flashes. If I press the Bluetooth button or the FN button, I'm going to get a red flash up top. And that basically wakes the remote up. So now every time I press a button, I'm getting a red blink up top. 
And with this new firmware, similar to before, I'm going to press and hold on that Bluetooth key at the bottom left. And you can see that blue light flashed. And it's flashing now to indicate that this remote is in pairing mode. And if I've completed the network configuration on this remote, so it's configured to the ProNav GPS that I have on my boat, this blue light will actually turn solid and let you know that it is connected to that GPS unit. And you can see once we've paired and configured the network here for this remote to the GPS, I've got full control of the motor. All right, so I've updated the firmware on the remote. I've connected it to my ProNav GPS. I've made sure the network configurations have been set up for this remote. And I've done a quick test to make sure that I've got all the expected functionality so I can turn the motor left and right adjust the speed, everything appears to be working correctly. So that's it for the firmware update. As you can see, this is a pretty quick and easy process. And again, we highly recommend you do this update as soon as you can at your earliest convenience so that you can start to enjoy the benefits of this new firmware. And uh, really noting that the biggest differences you're going to see are the increased battery life of this remote and the LED status indication to let you know when this remote is connected to your GPS. So we hope this video was helpful. As always, if you have any questions, please contact us here at ProNav Marine. We're always happy to help you out. You can go to ProNavMarine.com and look for the support tab up top. That will bring you into our support page with uh, more knowledge base type articles, FAQs, um, some documentation, links to our videos and tutorials, as well as the option to submit a ticket for support or to contact us to get some assistance with the product. Thanks again for tuning into this video and stay tuned for more.